Baldwood presents The House Guest, written by Linda Stacey and read by Karen Cass. The moral right of the author has been asserted. Chapter One Madeline covered her eyes in an attempt to shield them from the early morning sun. It burst in through a tiny slit in the bedroom curtains and shone directly at her. She lay for a few moments, waiting for her eyes to become accustomed to the light, before peering across to where Liam slept. She took a deep breath and inched her body between the crisp white sheets towards the edge of the bed in an effort to widen the gap between herself and her naked lover. Then she lay as still as she could, not daring to move as she watched him sleep. She used to love watching the steady rise and fall of his chest, his deep, slow, untroubled breaths, and the way he slept on his back with his arms spread outward as though surrendering in a childlike, unconscious state. But he'd changed. Now she didn't know whether to love him or to hate him at any given moment. Holding her breath, she noticed his eyes flicker and knew that as soon as he woke, she'd have to quickly judge whether he was in a good mood or bad, whether he'd want to make love or argue, and right now she was tired and didn't feel in the mood to do either. Closing her eyes, Madeline lay back against the pillows, only to feel Liam's hand pushing the sheets down to uncover her. You awake, Maddie, darling? His soft Irish tone mumbled in her ear. Liam's hand started to move over her body in soft, gentle, caressing strokes. Madeline felt herself relax. This was Liam in a good mood. For a moment, she enjoyed the simple feeling of tenderness, along with the feel of his hand moving sensuously over her body. It was what she'd enjoyed so much at the beginning of their relationship, and a small part of her wondered if he could change, if they could both change, and if once again she could have the loving and caring Liam, without the nasty side she'd experienced of late. She inhaled deeply, and then caught her breath as Liam's hand travelled down to her thigh. There had been a time when she'd have felt waves of excitement, times when she'd wished for him to be closer, and, more often than not, it had been her that had instigated their lovemaking. But that was before. Before she'd moved into his house with her daughter, and before he'd taken control of everything she did. Madeline thought back to when she had first met him, which made her wonder why he had changed, if the arguments were her fault, and whether it was her that made him angry. Maybe he regretted allowing her to move in, or perhaps he simply didn't like the fact that she was a mother with a very young daughter. Madeline glanced up, staring directly into Liam's sleepy green eyes that were now just centimetres away from hers. He flashed her a cheeky smile and then lowered his lips, brushing them gently against hers. He lingered tenderly and savoured the moment. He then paused and pulled away. Once again, his eyes searched hers, studying her in a seductive yet thoughtful way. And then he smiled again, the slight gap between his two front white teeth giving him a cute, mischievous appearance. You got something on your mind there, Maddie? Liam's voice broke through her thoughts just as she felt his fingers brush lightly against her face, making her jump. No, not at all, she lied. I was just enjoying the moment. She moved away from him but felt his hand grab at her wrist. Hey... Not so fast. I have something for you. Liam whispered as he pulled her hand towards him, placing it firmly against his arousal, which was more than apparent. Madeline took a sharp, inward breath and allowed her gaze to fall upon his mouth just as he lifted his hand to move a strand of hair away from her face. Their eyes met again as his mouth descended upon hers. She wanted him to be happy wanted him to stay in a good mood and responded as passionately as she could to the kiss. Her lips parted and she allowed his tongue to delve repeatedly into the recesses of her mouth. His hands tentatively roamed over her breasts and down to her stomach, 
and in one firm and unambiguous movement, he pressed his fingers deep inside her, making Madeline relax into the lovemaking. Are you ready for me, Maddie? he whispered between kisses. His body moved over hers, but then he eased away momentarily as he tugged roughly at her silk nightdress, pulling it up and over her head, tossing it to the floor, discarded. Liam's lips grazed her neck. His tongue drew circles on her skin, gently at first, but then quickly and ardently his mouth fell upon her breasts, making the blood flow through her veins at speed. She had loved him, had enjoyed making love to him, and wondered again if it was possible to return to the relationship they'd once had, and for her to get back the Liam that she'd first met. A soft creak on the staircase made Madeline freeze. The noise could only mean one thing, and her stomach tied in knots, knowing that if... Madeline listened intently for any further evidence that the three-year-old was up and about. For a moment, she heard nothing more and started to relax. But then another creak, quickly followed by a timid murmur which made Madeline jump up and out of Liam's clutches. Mummy? The young voice beckoned. Mummy? I need you. Are you there? Poppy, stay where you are, baby girl. Mummy's coming. She yelled as she grabbed at her robe, finding herself suddenly eager to cover her naked body from Liam's angry gaze. Damn it, Muddy, he shouted as he leaned out of bed. He rummaged around in search of the boxer shorts that he had discarded the night before and pulled them on. I can't remember the last time I got to the end without hearing that stupid, whining little voice behind that bloody door. Can't you control her? Madeline felt her blood boil. Control her? She's a child, Liam, not something you bloody control. Madeline glared at him as she got out of bed. He'd taken one too many digs at her daughter and this time she had no intention of letting it pass. Why, Liam, why'd you do this? Why'd you go from being nice Liam one minute to being a really shitty, nasty Liam the next? She paused and stared at him, knowing that her daughter was just the other side of the door and no doubt listening to every word. I have no idea why the hell I stay. She meant every word. When Liam was nice, he could be kind, sensual, generous and even romantic. But then his mood could turn on a sixpence and he'd turn mean without warning. And when he did this to Poppy, she hated him with a vengeance. How dare he be cruel to her daughter? She stared into the green eyes which had now turned cold and piercing, watched the indecision in his gaze and waited for him to challenge her in return. She knew his mood would and could go either way. And then, just as though someone had flicked a switch, he smiled got off the bed and walked towards her. Oh, Maddie, I'm sorry. Forgive me. His arms were suddenly around her. His lips grazed her forehead and once again he was nice, Liam, gentle and loving. It's just that, you know, I was so turned on. I mean, come on, Maddie, what am I supposed to do with this? He gripped her wrist and pulled her hand towards him. She could feel the erection beneath his boxers, still proud and throbbing. She closed her eyes and thought carefully about her next move. Liam, let go of my hand. Now. My daughter needs me. A shudder ran through her, unsure of what he would do next, and she looked back at the closed door, more than clutching a teddy bear, waiting. Liam pushed Madeline towards the bed. She unbalanced and landed heavily. He then stamped across the room and snatched open the door to reveal a small girl crouched on the corner of the landing, making a soft whimpering sound, and with her teddy bear pulled up in front of her to hide her face. Get gone to your mommy, he snarled as he stepped past the frightened child, down the landing and into the bathroom. To Madeline's relief, the shower burst into life. Morning, precious girl, Madeline whispered as she watched a terrified and timid Poppy creep towards her, dragging her teddy bear behind her with one hand, the thumb of the other firmly clamped in her mouth. You want to snuggle? Madeline asked as she climbed back into bed, threw back the quilt.